free white album moment. My name is Linda Whitebear, and I'm 63 years old. Free was always my first language. I didn't know any English before I started school. I didn't know be sin. It is very important to me. My language is very important to me. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones. I, I was raised in, with my parents talking to Cree to me every day. I can pray in Cree and talk to Creator in Cree and our ancestors. I can talk to them in Cree. That's how good my Cree is. We are. Do you understand? Nia, Gia, we are. First, second, third person. Uh, I grew up in Muscochis most of my life. My father worked all the lumber camps and stuff where my father would get a job. He, would, he lived in Edson, Raw, Cadwin, Merco. I grew up in a log house, which my, my parents made. There was no electricity, no plumbing. We all made those outbuildings like a garage, a chicken coop, the outhouse. <laughs> we chopped wood, we hauled water from a mile away in a wheelbarrow. We didn't have no telephone, no technology, no electricity, no indoor plumbing, so everything was hard work. We ate food that we grew, what my father killed, but now we just go to McDonald's. Let's just go get a pizza. <laughs> well, I really miss that. Even living in a log house, it was okay. As long as my mom and my dad were there. Eko se. Eko se. We used to travel far to Kootenay Plains almost every summer to go to Sundance. My mother was a Sundance. My father was a pipe carrier. We camp out. Us kids would be crazy. <laughs> to go play in the river. A whole community getting together. Sundance is the most powerful ceremony among our people. Words can't explain how I feel when I'm in there. You sleep in there, you dance all day, all day till sundown, you dance. I'm a Cree language instructor. I've been teaching Cree at Armanskin Daycare for the longest time. Like three years, I teach uh, little ones. And I just teach them stuff like foot, <laughs> sock, <laughs> hat, head. They need to learn. It's so important to have your Cree, your language. It's so important, especially when it comes to ceremony. Ceremony is my biggest thing. I love ceremony. I go to ceremony and I sing and I can understand the true meaning of those songs, of those prayers. I can understand them and their deep, deep meaning. I have a big, huge family. I had 10 children and I have 30 plus grandchildren. I have great grandchildren. I'm really proud of my family. Pretty much raised them by myself. It brings me so much joy when I can take my grandkids to ceremony. She was 11 and she wanted to come and experience that with me. I never, I never would have thought of that when I was 11, but she did. And she did an awesome job. And she slept with me in the lodge. Oh my God, she did. I'm proud of that. She'll all probably remember that for the rest of her life. 
we have to keep ceremony going. And her language, we have to. You know, our Cree is on his deathbed. And when we die, it dies. That's why young people have to learn their language, their culture. Thank you.